Hello everyone, I'm Jay and we're here at Pango Techno Valley for another interview, this time with the sales director of Unilux MK. MK, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Can you tell me about yourself and your company, please? Yeah, our company named Unilux, it was established in 2001. So during last 25 years, we are working and uh, focused only on the lighting control system. Yeah. So basically like the experts in lighting, 25 years of experience focusing, ju focusing just on lighting controls. For our viewers, I worked in the lighting industry, so I, I have a, a basic understanding of kind of what you're talking about. But for our viewers at home, what is a lighting control system and what does your lighting control system do? Yeah, lighting control, we are saying smart lighting control and in USA, they are saying connected lighting control. Okay. Yeah, so it means controlling the color, uh, Temperature of the lighting and the dimming control also. Okay, so dimming and temperature lighting. Uh, dimming is pretty easily understandable, basically going from bright to dark and dimming in between. Color temperature, meaning from yellow to white light or from yellow light to daylight, which is around like 2,700K to 6,000K, and that's what lighting control is addressing. What makes your lighting controls unique? Yeah, lighting control. For the lighting control, we need to communicate between the control device and the lamps. Okay. Yeah. So we are using very unique uh, technology, different from the existing communication system like wired system, okay. wireless system, and conventional power line communication. So we, our technology is completely different from the conventional power line control, and that we don't have uh, any problem or, or we are not affected from the environment or surrounding environment. So basically if the conventional wire control, for example, you need a whole separate wire going in the building in order to get the lighting control system to work. The wireless, we have to have a wireless connection, but yours is connected to a power line, but in a kind of a, a unique way, right? So. It, Basically, from my understanding, I don't need to go into, maybe it's a retrofit building or a renovation or a new project. I don't have to worry about having a separate line going in. How, how does your lighting control system work within existing infrastructure or how do you, how do you get it in place to affect uh, the lights in general? So for the communication, we are using only the existing power line. Okay. Or for new buildings, yes, uh, we, still we don't need to separate the uh, communication cable. So it is com uh, very cost-effective system for the new buildings and also for the existing buildings. I can say it, can, it, is, it will be the best solution yeah, and cost-effective also. Yeah. So cost-effective here. Mm. Of course, with dimming capabilities, efficiency is also a big deal because you're using less power. And then with uh, color temperature, it means that I can adjust the type of light that I want in my environment. Do you have competitors in the field? What makes your system unique compared to other competitors? Yeah, with our technology, actually, there is no competitors, mm -hmm. but uh, we are competing with the wired system and the wireless system uh, also. Yeah. Of course, so you're competing yeah. with different systems, but yours is unique in the fact that you have a separate unit. So does it basically, it plugs right into like the control board, for example? Yeah, so for, for the, for for installation, actually our device will be installed in the distribution board. Okay. And power line will be will through our device to, to the lamps. Directly. Yeah. yeah. Directly, yes. And then you control it what by can you control it by your phone? Do you control it by a remote control? Do you control it by a touch sensor? Sure, all the device can be used here. Yeah. Ah, so it's it's a cost effective solution that's basically like ready to go right out of the box. You just plug it into the direct line in general. Sure. Yeah. Who's your target customer for this? Actually, our target customer can be all the <coughs> areas who need to control the lighting. Yeah, like uh, all the office buildings and uh, residence, uh, residence facilities or bridges, even the art gallery or museum. Or, yeah, who want to ha control anywhere. the lighting? Anywhere yes. that wants sure. to control yeah. lighting, which yeah. is almost every facility these yes. days. Lighting has come a long way from our incandescent bulbs to halogen, to uh, fluorescent all the way to LED, and LED being such an easily controllable light source in a way now, everyone wants to have personal lighting in their environment. And of course, personalizing your lighting means you can have a different color temperature depending on the use, task lighting, or decorative lighting, and you can reduce energy, as cost, energy
energy costs as well through dimming. You've been in this industry for 25 years. Obviously, you're a global, global company. Do you have any plans to enter certain markets? Are you coming out in our interview to kind of advertise your product? What, what are your plans globally? Yeah, we are really wants to be the global, uh, global supplier in this field. And we are looking for partners in, in the other countries. In particular, in USA, there, there, are, there is mandatory to use lighting control system in for the new buildings. Mm -hmm. For the for the revamping, re, re, sorry, renovating, renovating of the existing buildings also, so I can say USA is the biggest market, and the, that market will be the uh, good. How can how can potential? I say good good yeah good potential to who we can show them how we are competitive and how we have a differentiated technology. For, what, can you give me an example of how much uh, energy efficiency is saved through your product or how much cost effective? Yes, uh, we have a, a sample installation in the Gyeonggi Pro, Gyeonggi Do, okay. yeah, GBSA building. And uh, we measure the uh, energy consumption before, before installation and after installation and it, it, the energy saving was uh, 75%. 75% energy consumption saving? Yes, yes. So that's not only better for uh, our facilities, it's better for the environment, it's better for the business running everything. The GBSA, uh, the Kungi Business yeah. uh, Association Science and Accelerator, so what kind of building was this being used it in? Was, uh, or is it being used in? Yeah, it was a bio center in, okay. the, in the GBSA, and we have, we have installed our system at the parking area. So parking area, we change the, all, all the lamps, and we ins installed the system, but uh, it was very simple because we just installed in the dis distribution board. So, yeah. so no extra wires, no extra new technology had to go in. You just basically had to change. So the lamps, in order for the dimming technology to go in, the lamps have to be dimmable and the lamps have to be uh, color tuning controllable. But after just basically going up to the ceiling or what, wherever you want to install the lamp, you install the lamp without adding another wire or a complicated wireless system. You just put your device into the power system itself and it just works right away. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sounds easy enough. You yeah. talked about this product as being in Korea. Your company has been around for 25 years. You want to enter more into the American market, but you want to also prove this in Korea as well. Do you see Korea shifting to uh, lighting control systems as well? Korea, I can say Korea is very late for, for that kind of uh, <laughs> okay. kind of change, uh -huh. but uh, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming because government is emphasizing zero energy building now. So I think it, it, it will be a big market in Korea also. But we are <coughs> focusing on the, another c country like China mm -hmm. and Vietnam also because uh, there must be a high-end uh, building, uh, high-end demand there. Wonderful. Yeah. So we are talk in talks with them, some with some companies, and USA. We have already one installation in USA. It, it will be the sample installation, and we are working on to get some kind, how can I say, certificate and others, yeah. Sure, yeah. a lot of, I worked as here, I worked as a professional designer in Korea, and what I noticed is that a lot of the Korean system is built off of uh, the standards and systems coming out from the US, whether it be electrical or yeah. uh, architectural, and of course there's CE standards, and every country has different stands around lighting as well. So basically, once you get these certifications, improving testing ground, and a lot of the infrastructure in Korea is based off the American infrastructure system as well. So. Now that lead buildings, sustainability, you know, is mm. such a big issue um, and kind of a necessity now within the architectural environment, these types of control systems are going to become a necessity as well. And they're cost effective and energy efficient saving. You guys, usually when I do these interviews, it's with startups, but your company has been around 25 years. Yeah. Can I ask why you started your company and how you got your company started in the first place? Yeah, but for the, the actually, the, how can I say, the founder, founder of mm -hmm. this founder, company, yeah. who, who is very much focused on the lighting control. Okay. Yeah. He was, uh, he was how can I say, enjoying the control of the lighting already from the 25 years ago. So, Got yeah. it. Yeah. 
So. Interesting. So I, I noticed that when I first came to Korea, a bunch of color changing lights. Yeah. Actually, being American, yeah. I came to Korea and for the first time, I saw buildings changing different colors. Okay. But I noticed that almost already in different buildings and uh, infrastructure in America, we were using lighting controls. So it's kind of opposite. Color changing lights kind of came to America late, mm -hmm. but color controls kind of came to Korea late is what you're yes, saying. Yes, yes. So you saw this as an opportunity, but now you want to also promote your product abroad and domestically as well. Yeah, and I can say there are much more existing buildings than new buildings. Right. Yeah, and the, the existing buildings all will need their lighting control. And our system can be a very good solution for the existing building because, I, as I told you, we don't need to have uh, uh, new control wires, mm -hmm. yeah, communication wires. So we, we, it will be very cost effective and uh, simple installation. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. MK, thank you so much for your time today. Ah, thank you. The thank sales you. director of Unilux. Yeah. Lighting controls make such a big difference and it's a kind of a spot in which the general public overlooks, but with lead building, certification, sustainability, such a big issue these days, they are necessity in buildings. However, people are a little wary to use them because of the complications of installing new systems. Unilux has a solution that's gonna make it easier by just plugging into the direct power source. You change your light source, you change the power control source, no extra wires required, and you have a lighting control system that's gonna help save you energy. And if you're saving energy, you're also saving cost. I'm Jay, here with another interview at Pangyo Techno Valley, this time with the sales director of Unilux, MK.